Hello everyone! Since a lot of you guys ask questions about Nova Scotia, life, jobs, schools, I thought why not dedicate July as the month for Nova Scotia. Therefore, the whole month of July, I will be covering various topics around Nova Scotia. I will also uh, interview a person who lives and who studied in Nova Scotia. In this video, let's talk about the top jobs in one of the Atlantic provinces, which is Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia is the neighbor of New Brunswick to the south. But first, before we dive deep into the top jobs, let's talk about taxation and minimum wage. The minimum wage in Nova Scotia is actually lower than in New Brunswick. In Nova Scotia, it's $13.35 an hour. And in New Brunswick, that's $13.75 an hour. Sales tax in Nova Scotia is the same as New Brunswick. It's 15%. So sales tax is what we pay on top of the cost of a certain commodity. For example, you bought a, a watch. So that's 15% on top of the cost of the watch. It's the same as New Brunswick and the rest of the Atlantic provinces. Another comparison is that if you buy a car in Nova Scotia, pretty much the same as New Brunswick, you will have to pay 15% a sales tax on that car even if it's brand new or used. The top in our list is the healthcare industry. These are the uh, nurses, the registered nurses, the practical nurses, the uh, uh, nursing assistants, professions that has involvement in the healthcare and wellness. For new graduates in Nova Scotia, the salary ranges between $65,000 and $90,000 a year. But for experienced ones, the salary ranges between $125,000 and $180,000 a year and that truly is in the standards of this uh, of the Atlantic provinces that is quite high salary range now one thing that um, I have to caution you and I guess most of you will be aware is that it's not easy to be hired as a nurse here in uh, Canada as a whole especially if you are not educated here if you are educated abroad there are a string of exams that you will have to take and pass and there are even exams when you can only take them twice or even thrice and then you have to wait uh, a few months uh, to take those exams if you do not pass such exams and then you have to go to school to do bridging school or bridging class and then and only then you can be uh, a registered nurse if you pass all the exams and then done with your bridging class there's so many ragnarok and strings of uh, exams that need to be passed and therefore the reason behind that the uh, salary to being a nurse in nova scotia in particular is truly high the second industry in our list is the construction industry. These are the helpers, the laborers, the engineers, the architects, the masonry people, the bricklayers. These jobs are truly in demand in Nova Scotia. Over the next 10 years, 28% of the workers in the construction industry in Nova Scotia will retire. And these people who will retire needs replacements. These replacements needs to be trained now in order for them to be productive, efficient, and effective in their chosen career in the industry. Now guys, the food and beverage industry is a minimum wage kind of industry. It's less than $14 an hour. This kind of job can work in the short term, but long term, I do not think you should look at it in such a manner. Nova Scotia is not a cheap province. It's one of the more expensive provinces in the Atlantic Canada and earning a minimum wage of less than $14 an hour, it could be tough for you guys to pay the bills. As a matter of fact, I actually created a file right here and this file is a free downloadable file and it certainly uh, tells you how much it costs to live in the Atlantic provinces uh, and with this uh, file you will realize short term yes a minimum wage will work but definitely long term you have to improve yourself 
have licenses, certifications, and further education, perhaps in order to increase your salary.